If you haven't already watched my tutorial on how to make your first map in Hammer, I suggest you do so. Assuming you have a blocked out map already, to make a sky, click on the texture application tool on the left. Click browse and search for tools skybox. Double click the skybox texture and use Z to go inside your block. Now that we're inside of our block, use the camera and right click on all the surfaces that you want to be your sky. Now we need to set the look of our sky. You can find a whole list of official skies with a link in the description for each game. The Half-Life 2 sky should work with all games, but I'd highly recommend just using your game. I'm using Counter-Strike Source, so I'm going to be going to the Counter-Strike Source section. I'm going to select this Militia HDR sky and copy the sky name. Go back to Hammer and click Map at the top. Click Map Properties and paste your skybox into the skybox texture section. Now with the Entity tool, place an Entity. Do Alt plus Enter and search for Light underscore Environment. Hit Enter twice or click the Apply button. This Entity is used to imitate realistic light from the sun and sky. The Pitch Your Roll property is used to show the rotation of the sunlight. So this is like the angle of the sun. The Pitch property is the downward pitch of the sunlight. So for example, if I did a pitch of minus 90, the light would point straight down. And if I did a pitch of minus 45, the light would be at a 45 degree angle. The brightness section is the color of your sun and how harsh it is. So just like lights, the fourth number is the intensity of the light. The ambience changes the color of the shadows and the HDR settings are the exact same thing except it just modifies the HDR versions. The sun spread angle changes how sharp the sun shadows are. So a higher number makes them more fluffy and spread out. On the same website I spoke about before, you can see what Valve used for each map that used these same skies. So we can copy these properties to make our lighting match better with our sky. Or you can just mess around and do it yourself. For this example, I'm just going to copy exactly what Valve did for the Militia map. So as you can see, I'm copying each section, such as brightness, ambience, and pitch, into the relevant sections of my entity. Once that's done, hit apply, compile your map with F9, and you should have a nice sky with some actual lights and shadows. Subscribe if you want more mapping and source game related videos.